Hey, what's going on everybody? January Flowers here, your favorite homegirl. And today we're getting into some baddies East tea. Yes. So this episode is all about the clap back. We going clap back. We give her a clap back. As y'all know, child, yesterday episode was off the chain. The girls are courting another scandal with the fans, honey. Yeah. If you are new to the channel, welcome. If you are returning to the channel, welcome back, Pooh. We got some tea to get into today, y'all. When I tell y'all, the list goes on. The girls have been clapping back. Now, this is going to be continuous tea because the episode just premiered a couple few hours ago. I just put the recap up, child. Listen to this tea. We got Scotty clapping back at Cashmere, honey. That's on Now That's TV. We got Anna Mac clapping back at megan but megan clapping back at anna mac child this is megan from baddies atl we got suki clapping back at mariah lynn y'all yes yes the one she was just defending in last night's episode i can't make this stuff up y'all we will be getting a guest appearance in today's episode from the infamous red rules y'all remember reds that smiley mentioned in um yesterday's episode reds is popping out from nowhere y'all get into the sea i cannot <laughs> sometimes this stuff is just crazy y'all i know y'all be like jane we just want to break today well i can't let up because the baddies will not rest let's get into this tea so right after the episode y'all suki decided to react okay suki is letting it be known that she is not the one of two or the three when it comes to her and mariah lynn now getting into this tea we can see that suki is obviously speaking passion on this situation she feels as though mariah lynn's too small to gather her own things back and in the midst of her helping Mariah, she reads her. Well, you know Mariah is a diminutive diva, but you must remember, Mariah Lynn is a cancer female, so she does clap back. She gonna clap back. She gonna clap back. So let's get into the scene. The first clips we gonna get into is Suki. Okay, y'all, Suki, get ready to get into this tea with Mariah Lynn, and then she brings on the infamous reds. But I want y'all to keep this in mind. Yesterday's episode, everybody played like they didn't understand the name she was saying and played like Smiley just made up a name. Y'all remember that, right? Get into this tea. Mm hmm. One thing about it, we got your tank back, ho, and you ain't say thank you. You ain't saying nothing. We try to figure out where you at. We trying to figure out where you at because you ain't say nothing, girl. You ain't even give a thank you. You've been in that house with them girls for weeks before Suki came. You've been there for weeks, okay? Y'all been fighting every day and you ain't get that chain back. I came and got that chain back. Me and Sapphire got that chain back for you, my girl. Just cause, uh, just off of GP. You should have said thank you. That's all. And it wasn't no bully and stuff, but you was being bullied, Mariah. I watched you. You were being bullied by Smiley. I didn't like it. Because Smiley contacted me. Basically pressing me to come get that chain. I didn't like that you was being bullied because you're small. I didn't like it. That I didn't jump in. I didn't help you because you never fought for me. Like I said, but I told you, get your chain. That's what I said. And I made sure it was fair. Get your chain. You want your chain? They're not going to get your chain back for you? I'm going to get it back. Get your chain. Because she contacted me. She contacted me. Get your chain back. That's what I say. I'm not your friend. I'm not your friend. But what, what right, what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong. I felt like you was being bullied. So I just wanted to make sure you got that chain back because that's humiliating. You a rapper. That's not fair. That's not right. And then her making all these videos online. Like, that's not cute. That's, 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 I think that's wrong. I don't think that's right. I felt bad for you. I'm going to bust your. Mariah, I don't lie on myself. When I see you, I'm a trash you so bad. I don't, I'll put my money up too. I'll put my money up. I'm not playing with y'all. I don't know who hyped you up to make you think that you me. But bitch, you using everybody in the house to fight your battles. 
God is who stands as God. Are you tell everybody how we got Marine, so I said, Rose? All right. Who is Rose? Red Rose. We don't know who I don't even know who he's talking about, but even if we were. Marine, so I said, Rose? All right. Who is Rose? What I look like, you, like, what I look like getting me somebody beef, like artist, like celebrity beef. What that got to do with me? I don't even watch um, Baddies East. I don't watch that. Did you tell her that Mariah was my best friend? Come on now. I don't even know the bitch. The only, the, I don't know that bitch. The only reason why I knew of her it was because me and Smiley we used to be cool. I don't know the bitch from any kind. I'm. Not, how would I know your best friends? I don't. I don't be with you every day. I don't stalk you. I don't do no stalking. I don't be with the drama. I don't be. All right. Let me go ahead. Go ahead. Let me go ahead and add uh, Smiley to this. Okay. Smiley, where you at? What I look like, you like what? I so, yo, that's the girl. I'm Ruby Reed. I don't know who she is or what she do. Is she a stylist? What reads do y'all? What's reads? Well, this is basically Suki clapping back at Mariah over um dragging her into the situation with the chain now ruby says she don't know well she, well the interesting thing is ruby said that she do know smiley from back in the day so it's real contradictory the girl looks skiing on a live anyway so a part of that clapback suki also released the original dm text between her and smiley as suki says this is before i came on the show this is why i checked her when i came in the house stop playing with people because everybody ain't playing G so you can see Suki says she's on a plane this is where Smiley says allegedly why your friend got beat up Mariah Lynn who is this I got a new phone she said saying you and her was gonna beat me cause this Suki city lol what me me give you my number i just don't remember this how do i know you i'm not trying to be rude but i don't really know either of y'all i don't want my name in y'all beef i'm not on baddies so me being a part of this wouldn't help me in any way i'm a grown woman i have children i don't fight anymore or do the internet thing but i wish y'all the best um that's when she said i feel that but sh less less work i do I guess she trying to do business with her. Y'all, I don't get this tea. It seemed that Smiley was basically in Suki DMs. And it was some chatter, but not enough for Suki to remember who she was. I'm assuming. Oh, God. So, in the midst of all that Suki situation, Suki basically running around, going live, you know, commenting and stuff like that, trying to clear her name out. You know, she new to the Baddies franchise, so, you know, she running around doing everything. You know, we used to this stuff. So, Mariah Lynn jumped into the comment. Well, this is on Twitter, okay? So, this is Mariah Lynn with a few tweets. She's, and this is tweets in response to Suki's live. She said, I never once asked or needed nobody to help me to get my sh back i never even knew that girl texted anybody about my pendant i was standing on business about my sister and chain from the very beginning i even said earlier that day it was up before bees even was around i was telling that almost every day i was losing my patience with her trying to be cool with me but lying on what she did with my sh so I played it cool till I had proof she had it and I snapped. Y'all be so wishy-washy. One week is get your back. Now it's I'm wrong. This girl clout chased me for months and I said nothing. It was all in my face at the auditions. Put my number in my phone but then tried to beat up my sister. Y'all mad at me for standing up to a pretend bully who only purpose on this show was to provoke and try to fake bully me. Miss me with it. So Mariah Lynn saying that that was Smiley purpose for the season. Wow. So... Natalie had this to say, and Mariah Lynn piggybacked. Natalie said, I'm not speaking on if Smiley had an MC or not. What I do know is she is a serial liar, and absolutely no one believed anything she said anymore. Mariah Lynn said, end of story. 
Girl, please. I don't know if Natalie bucking up has somehow crept into Scotty's um, bloodstream. Well, Scotty was on a live and let's just say she decided to, um, well, you know, basically speak to what the fans were saying about Cash coming up to the reunion. And this is all in reference to the T situation. If you guys remember, I want to say a couple weeks ago when T first got dusted, uh, every other girl from every other network across the nation was ready to pull up to baddies to beat up everybody well it seems like scotty finally is reacting to it let's get into her tea the fact that this bitch scotty took up on tea is really annoying as fuck because it's just like bitch you could have took off on tea and she could have shut the fuck up in that van bitch but you didn't you waited to this bullshit ass cricket tea fast bitch et club bullshit ass bitch Try to feel like you want to take a somebody, so bitch, now I'm gonna stop you. Okay, Izzy and Cash fought each other on Now That's TV, and now she wants to fight me. It sounds like I don't know this girl, so I doubt she'll ever see me in life. I don't think we're ever at the same place at the same time. So, <laughs> kudos to Cash trying to find me and beat me up for whatever reason. Okay, easy. <laughs> Scotty is a trip. Scotty is a mess talking about good luck finding me. Me and her are never in the same rooms or never in the same spaces. Well, Scotty, I do want to put a button on that. You are two women of reality TV. And I know what y'all may say two different calibers at the end of five days. You never know who gonna be in a room with you when it's come to reality TV. I want to see what people saying up in these comments because this was bold of Scotty. Scotty then bucked up. Uh, I am a little shooken by this. Y'all know I don't get shooken easily. For Scotty to say, wow. Let's get into these comments, y'all, because I want to see if anybody mad. Um, somebody said, um, I now Scotty, I know Natalie kind of hyped you up this season and you got a couple fights under your belt this season, but tread lightly sweetness. Cash is a different breed child. You may want to simmer down right now. Somebody else says, right. It's funny because Cash thinks she'll ever be in the same room as someone like Scotty. Wow. Someone else said, as y'all can tell, Scotty's scared of Cash. <laughs> she just had me laughing. <laughs> Somebody says, somebody please tell Scotland she really is not that girl. Somebody else said, it's called picking and choosing your battles. I'ma leave this one alone. Somebody else said, the most random beef. What she want to um, fight Scotty for? They not even on the same life group. Oh, wow. We're going to do one more, y'all. Somebody said, Cash just trying to get her camera time. Scotty didn't jump T. She waited until after they was done and finished to decide to run up on T. And the already had prior beef, so there isn't a following situation going on. Yes, she's picked and choose when to go at her, but that's Scotty problem, and this is just my opinion. Uh huh, okay. Well, you know, the girls have done a buck or rue or two, you know what I mean? Well, let's just say Anna Mac has decided to come back at the people chatting on Betty's East Show. And I said this in the comments, y'all. All these bees, IG models, talking about Zeus. Y'all want to be on Betty's. And Anna called them out, y'all. Megan, Winter, and the list goes on, y'all. Anna sick of them. Anna says she's sick of the BGC girls of Christmas past. Speaking on Baddies East, because a lot of these BGC girls saying that they would never, production would have never let this gone down, what is going on this season. They questioning the quality of the show. They questioning the cast, production, and hiring agents. Well, Megan has bucked back, and she said, baby, nobody wants to be on Baddies. She said, been there, done that, and probably got paid more. She said, then you, for one episode appearance. She said, and for the record, I haven't even spoken bad about Zeus. I just be wanting to know the reason why people decide to get paid to get beat down on. Is the money that good? Because for you, 
I doubt it. Wow. One thing about Megan, when she touched the ground, she sweeps the ground. And when Megan reads, just know that the plate will be emptied. When Megan said, because for you, I doubt it. When she said, is the check worth getting swung up on and beat down on? Girl, you swung and thrown around every other episode. Megan saying, did the check clear? Because she can't seem to understand what's the tea. One thing about Miss Megan, she is going to clear the room. And it always goes down to her vernacular you know it does you know it clears every time i want to see what people have to say in the comments about anna going at miss megan honey somebody said megan is so funny somebody said once again megan ate her uh, of course someone said anna just wanted to be acknowledged by an original bgc girl mission accomplished wow <laughs> The fans know how to read real good. Somebody else said Megan is one of the original OGs from season nine. She has grown out of that. These new girls are just in their beginning stages. Wow. Somebody else said Anna's trying too hard to be a baddie and she has no class. Now, Della Cruz, let me ask you something. And I know I'm reading these comments and you know it's your homegirl, but I'm Della Cruz. You said Anna lacks the class to be considered Della Cruz. Della Cruz, come here. Class. Now, if I'm really thinking about a baddie who has shown class and decorum from their whole, whole season, let me see. Who can I name from episode one up to the reunion finish? Who showed class? I'm going to have to give it to Low London. And I know some people may challenge me on that. And it is other baddies who didn't even get into brawls like Janelle. But it's something about Lo that even after her brawl, it was something, you know, classic about her. So, Della Cruz, I'm going to have to say that if you meant in that sense, I see what you're saying. But as far as this show goes, they don't really have a high standard for the girls. You know what I'm saying? Lo London set the bar. You know, a baddie who fought... And then a baddie who had class, you know. Who else stayed cute the whole season? I can't think. But that comment just made me want to say something. Somebody else said, yeah, but they wouldn't decline Megan or Winter if they wanted to join. Megan is the lead on Basketball basketball Wives Orlando right now. We're going to do one more, y'all. Someone said, how are you going to name two people that already lived what you're trying to do? They are baddies. True. Well, I had to bring y'all this tea. Uh, y'all know it's going to be more tea, so make sure y'all stay locked to the channel. The girls are going back and forth. The girls are chatting. You know, the girls are getting active. You know what? Let's leave on a high note. I don't want to leave y'all no negative note. Fans calling out Biggie, y'all. They called out Biggie because if you look at this clip, Biggie just replicated a style Roly had. And, oh. This the same season that she had the same season as her. So one of the fans said, Biggie said, F that, I'm going to do it better. And Biggie said, as I always do. If I had to pick out of these two who he look better, <sighs> well, to me, it's about the same. Y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think. Stay locked to the channel. And I will keep you up to date with all the latest tea. And remember this, y'all. Do the best you can with what you got. And I will see you on my next video. Bye.